Hello YouTubers, I want to give you a short update on the Nautical Way one from my perspective. Since I'm not really a b-roll video recorder and I tend not to like a lot of still shots and bike review videos, I'll voice over an area I didn't really enjoy riding and explain how great this bike has been for me. A while back I did a short riding video while talking about my new Norco A1. You can get to that video, which I will link at the end of this video, or you can click through by clicking the top right card now. Five months of riding the Norco has convinced me I don't need another bike for how I ride. It's 98% solid on uphills and honestly will outride me on the downhills for a long time to come. As a tall and heavy rider, this bike just fits. 6 foot 4 between 270 and 290 the bike meshes well with my riding I barely notice the technical rides and the fork suspension combination is every bit as good as I could expect the Fox 36 and the DPX2 are just plain awesome and I don't miss my coil suspension at all <coughs> Norco outdid themselves on the value of this bike bringing a lot of high end components to the table for a very good cost offering competitive value against some of the direct order companies Here are some hits and misses of the Norco Range A1 for Clydesdale riders. So the first real pro uh, applies to anyone using this bike. The Fox 36 and the Fox DPX2 are an amazing combination. And honestly, the suspension sold me on the bike with such incredible value for around 4,000 Canadian. I can easily configure the suspension for my size and I'm not bottoming out the suspension like my previous treks. Con number one really only applies to uh, the Clydesdales in the group, or maybe people that are doing some long extended downhills. For my size, the SRAM Code R's that come stock lack some stopping power needed. Even after upgrading the rear to a 203mm rotor, I still run out of brake on steep long downhills. The next pro is an obvious one, the Eagle Drive Train. I really don't need to say much more, but this is a win for any bike. I'm a sucker for this drivetrain. I know it's expensive, but it's precise and holds up under my torque. And I always have a gear I can use for either climbing or descending. I don't seem to run out of gears with this drivetrain. The next real miss only applies to tall riders, and it's a small complaint. The 150mm dropper is just too short, and since the bike fits tall, I notice a shorter dropper more than I might on a shorter bike like my old Trek, which allowed for more space for a shorter dropper to work properly. 150 mil dropper I consistently ran out of space and had to slam the seat post down uh, so I had more room to protect myself on steep descents. So speaking of height, the uh, bottom bracket height on this bike, it, bike is excellent. Likely since it fits taller, the bike just has more room to maneuver in my opinion over technical terrain. I don't really enjoy the new trend of how all bikes seem to have low bottom brackets. Um, my old Trek drove me nuts with endless pedal strikes and bottom bracket strikes against high terrain. And the last pro is one I've already stated and I'm going to state it again. Um, out of the box this bike is very complete and has an excellent price point. Uh, there's very little I would do to it to make it better and everything I would do is pretty much directly related to, to how tall I am or how big I am. Uh, all in all, the bike is incredible for the $4,000 Canadian. I'd recommend it to anybody. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, as an FYI, the area I'm riding in in the video is called Heritage Bike Park. Uh, it's in Abbotsford. And uh, the reason why I'm talking over this video instead of making a video with a bunch of B-roll is that um, I had what is a relatively pretty area um, but I, I really dislike the riding in this area. It felt like I was going uphill constantly. Uh, regardless, <clears throat> uh, I knew I was due for a long-term review. I gave a very short-term review earlier on in my ride experience with the bike. Uh, hopefully you found this useful, and if, uh, if you ended up buying the bike or have anything to say otherwise, let me know. Thank you very much for listening, and see you on the flip side.
ground is so slick. Uh, 